and I wanted to do one on. Yep. Okay, I wanted to do one on. Um, yeah, what, what if you have a painful desire for someone who's unavailable? Painful desire for someone who's unavailable. Well, you know, um, one of the things I really like to do, I think there's, there's a pragmatic thing if you get like a, a crush on someone. And there, there, there's a few different things. You can look at it from two, I think most of the things, like if I had a crush on someone, I would use it as an opportunity for transcendence. That's the way, I mean, you don't have to use it as an opportunity for transcendence, but I would say, okay, I've become, I've become, I've got a crush on this woman, I can't get her out of my head, she's ignoring me all the time, you know, it's obvious she's not interested, and I'm getting upset all the time. So I'd use it as an opportunity for transcendence. So I would go, I'd be using all the, all the Course in Miracle stuff. Obviously, I've, I've projected uh, special qualities onto her, made her magical, made her my higher power, made her the authority thing that's going to fix me. Uh, so I would uh, do the Course of Miracles. Um, you know, if I've got some, if I can sneak a picture of her, I'd do the thing of have a picture of her on my phone and put it on and then look at it for one second and say, like, uh, well, what could her name be? And like, I don't know, Princess. It's called Princess. So look at Princess for one second and go, and say you're meaningless, and then look at the camp, look at the lamp for a second. Say the lamp's equally meaningless, and then look at the teddy bear. There's a teddy bear over there. There actually is. The teddy bear is meaningless. <laughs> <laughs> and then look at the plant. It's meaningless. So you give each thing an equal amount of time, uh, and say that everything is meaningless because everything is equally meaningless. So you're stripping away that magical thing. Like the the photo is as meaningless as the table and you give the table one second of attention and then you give the light <coughs> when you do that if you do that every day twice a day you'll start to find that you start to lose uh, that that uh, projection or specialness onto them you do it every day as a technique and then you know you're sort of making that person as interesting as a plant or as interesting as a table so you strip that away um, or I play you know I, I place I'd place my, you know, can place things into, as the Course says, into God's hands, or we, do, we now do it in the light and love of God. I'd place Princess into God's, into God's light and love, or I'd place Princess and my love addiction, my crush on Princess into God's light and love, do, and then see her blotted out in white light. So it's like the, the light of God is just obliterating out my projection that she's got any meaning. I just dis you're just like vanishing it from your consciousness, and so eventually you can't retain it any longer. So do that, um, and um, you know, for, I go to twelve-step fellowships. I mean, they would say things on a practical things like maybe avoid her, avoid you know going to places where she is, or or that you might not want to do that, or it might be impractical. In which case, you could do. Uh, you know, you could not look in that direction, or you could just practice, practice practice doing the Course of Miracles while she's in the room. Like look at her for a second and look at the plant for a second or, or do everything. I mean, there's the other ones I do, which is like Course of Miracles is to try and see Christ in everyone you see. That usually works. So see the, see the person as a spiritual figure. So, you know, like if, I, if I've got a crush on the girl, see her as Christ or as, or as uh, Gandhi or Dr. Hawkins. So that will take a a crush out of you. <laughs> you, know, you see Christ, Christ you know, it's like, okay, forget, forget, forget. Not date Christ. <laughs> okay. no, no romantic feelings here, let's forget this one. <laughs> so so that, that does work. I do a thing, actually. I do, a th what do I do? I can do a thing, like if, if there's a person in the room, which I've either got, you know, we talk about transcending the dualities of attraction and aversion. So sometimes some people I might be attracted to, I think they're attractive, or I might have an aversion. Oh, I wish that person wasn't here. So you're transcending. So what I do is I go to the, uh, basically what I do is I do the observer. So when I'm in my ego, I might find some people attractive and some people I don't like. So I'll just go to the observer and try and get into the field of like a oneness. So I'm not really tracking. When you don't track, when you're in your ego, you tend to like identify and track things. 
So when you go into the observer, you let go of identifying and tracking what's in the room. And then you go into a kind of an overview, a, a witness observer state, and then that also dissipates it. <clears throat> you know, like when you're in your ego, you're like looking at everything and you're trying to size everything up. If you go to the observer, that's all gone. You're just in the witness, so you get laid back, and then you, you lose your um, uh, you lose the attachment. So those are the things that I would do. Oh yes, also if there's like desire or lust, you can feel out the lust. Just sit with it and don't go into the pictures and just feel that energy out. Um, and then that will tend to, to let go of the uh, thing. I remember Dr. Hawkins say, said one thing, which really was really helpful from an addictive love addiction point of view. And he said the thing of, don't give it airtime. You know, don't give it airtime. You know, like, uh, I remember his, his words, he said, like, if there's a, I think these are his words, because I've listened to them, if there's, um, uh, well, I'll reframe them. Uh, he said, like, if there's this, this girl here, you know, as soon as it appears in your consciousness, just let it go immediately and don't let it stay there. Because, no, he said that with a drink, he actually said that with a drink of alcohol. Every, every moment you allow that drink to stay in your consciousness is building up energy. And at a certain point, you become powerless to pick up the drink. And that would be the same with a girl, you know. If you're, um, if you're giving her lots of air time, you, you eventually you're, you're growing your attachment. So, you know, you just can't let it stay in there um, for too long. So those are the things of that. And um, 